So my silly answer is um, freshman year of high school, the movie The Amazing Spider-Man came out. And in that movie, um, Mary Jane works in a biotech lab and her job just seems so cool. She used to like wear lab coats and do experiments all day. Um, I was just so fascinated and was like, hey, maybe this could be a cool industry to go down. It really got my urge to go into bioengineering um, after I did an internship with my grandfather. My grandfather is a pretty, well, I would say well-known scientist in the field of NMR, nuclear magnetic resonance, a really high-level biophysics term. But he basically walked me through some basics of scientific research, experimentation, how to work in a lab, how to use machinery. And that was really the sparking moment for me. If I can combine like biology and technology, that was where I wanted to go with my career and that's what I'm doing right now. One project that comes to mind is augmented reality and virtual reality project. It's currently in COVID-19, our manufacturing floors are completely, almost completely shut down. So we've just signed a headset where you can put it on, be transported into the, onto the manufacturing floor and be able to kind of see a 360 view while you're wearing the headset and see, you know, what could be going wrong with this machine? Does this need to be run differently? Do I need to change the parameters here? Um, so it's almost like you're on the manufacturing floor. So I definitely see myself in this healthcare space for the foreseeable future, um, whether that be I stay at Genentech or go get my master's or move to a different company, um, kind of up in the air. Speak what's on your mind. Don't be afraid to ask dumb questions. A lot of times, even as women, we feel like, okay, this is going to look so stupid, I'm, I'm kind of nervous. But the one thing I've learned is just ask. That gains you so much respect. 